Folks, the 2016 presidential election is almost upon us, and I, for one, cannot wait to see who the American people elect next for John Boehner to sue. <laughs> of course, former First Lady, former Senator, and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is the current front runner, which is surprising since it sounds like she can't hold down a job. <laughs> Now, Secretary Clinton says she hasn't made up her mind about whether she's running yet, but methinks she doth not make up her mind yet too much. <laughs> Let's just look at the facts. One, she's on a national book tour pushing her memoir, Hard Choices. Two, she's extremely qualified. Three, <laughs> let's forget about number two and just focus on the book thing. <laughs> Which, by the way, for the record, I don't get. Sure, it's been on the New York Times bestseller list for seven weeks and has sold more than 500,000 copies worldwide. But I recently picked up the audiobook. I like to listen to it when I'm on the treadmill at the gym, rager-sizing. <laughs> Here's the Colbert review. Here's my review. This book is 656 pages of shameless name-dropping. Jim? Tanzanian Prime Minister Mzengo Pinda and I do some planting at a woman's cooperative in Landizi. Thud. Did you catch that? Did you catch that, TMZ? She just happened to be hanging out with Mzengo in Landizi. Well, not impressed. So she's tight with the Prime Minister of Tanzania. I happen to be email pen pals with the Prince of Nigeria. Okay? Reminds me, I should really... Should write that guy back. Gotta write that guy. Gotta write him. He owes me a ton of money. <laughs> and there's more. The first time I met the Burmese Nobel Peace Prize winner, Aung San Suu Kyi, in December 2011, we were both wearing white. Really? Wearing white after Labor Day? Hmm. Obviously, her Nobel Prize wasn't in fashion. Again, Jim. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has a great sense of humor. You heard it, folks. Hillary Clinton thinks German chancellors are a laugh riot. <laughs> Heil hilarity. Next. Here, Bono sits with me at the piano. Big deal. Bono sits with everybody at the piano. <laughs> Call me when you're sitting with David Bowie at a didgeridoo. <laughs> I just don't buy any of this. There is no way on earth one woman can be in so many places at once. Who's a name dropper, Stephen? <laughs> oh, really? Name dropper? That's not what my good friend Tom Hanks calls me <laughs> when we're hanging out at George Clooney's place. Oh, I love George. Um, I wish he could have joined us when I had lunch with Meryl Streep and Ecuadorian President Rafael Correa. <laughs> oh, Rafi, he is such a cut up. <laughs> Especially when we go camping with Oprah. <laughs> O. Oh. oh, did that surprise you? No, O oh, is just what all her real friends call Oprah. I know Paul McCartney. I negotiated with Hamid Karzai. I shared an office with Steve Carell. I've held high-level talks with Chinese state counselor Dai Binghua. Well, now you're just making words up. <laughs> now, I will have you know, madam, I once did an entire show with President Bill Clinton. Oh! Mm -hmm. I, I hate to break this to you, Stephen, but I've met him, too. God, you know everyone. You know, what kind of loser do you have to be to not be included in your book? Oh. <laughs> 
Well, you're not in it, Stephen. <laughs> oh, aren't I? You ever notice how President of Turkmenistan, Gurban Guli, Berdi Mohammedow, and I are never in the same room at the same time? No. Oh, yes. Oh. And, madam, it is not just your name dropping that I call into question. I question your title. It's called Hard Choices. But there aren't any real hard choices in here. What about negotiating fragile alliances and treaties? Oh, I'm talking about real hard choices. Eternal questions like, which would you rather fight? One horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Well, Boom! Now, I admit that is a valid question. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'd do. Mm -hmm. First, I'd try to find common ground between ducks and horses. <laughs> For instance, they both grew up on Old MacDonald's farm. Then I, I'd establish a timetable to achieve meaningful horse-duck dialogue. And Stephen, I'm convinced, with patience and a strong commitment from our allies, the pigs and the geese, we'd have peace, peace here, peace, peace there, here a peace, there a peace, everywhere a peace. E-I-E-I-O, -E you're good! And now, Stephen, I've got a hard choice for you. Bring it, HRC. Oh, it will be brought. Your choice. Promote my book, or I won't appear on your show. But you have already appeared on my show. I learned that from George Lucas. I met him. He's a friend. Well, now no one will know that I got Hillary Clinton on my show. Fine. Fine. B buy hard choices. Available in bookstores everywhere there are still bookstores. <laughs> or on, on our website down here, okay? Okay. Oh, thank you. <sighs> thank you, Stephen. Was that such a hard choice to make? Yes, it was. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, everybody. Hard choices. Madam Secretary, thank you so much. Thank you. Hillary Clinton, everybody.